Jamil is Rob. I got it. Rob? No. Yeah. 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 Kippy? Yeah. So I don't know anything since last week. Or he wrote me on Monday. So Monday. 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 Yeah. Monday. Yeah. 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 Are we going all right? Um, Almost. Wait, uh, Hi, I'm Hi. Started? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm Peter. I'm Russ. And I'm CJ. And we are Team Numero Uno. Now, Dean Smith believed that, regardless of the fact he was the leader of the basketball program at North Carolina, that through the progressive progression of time and the graduation of his students and athletes through that program, that as uh, they moved on to further endeavors in their life, the friendship was forever. When asked about his leadership style, Dean Smith, without hesitation, replied, I'm a benevolent dictator. I was the leader. There was no doubt about that. I was the one who made the practice plans. I controlled everything. But I hoped I did it all with benevolence. I tried to control with compassion. Peter. Now, as we can see, the four main guiding concepts in this chapter are as follows. Uh, accepting people for who they are, forgiving human frailties, the desired success of each individual, and allowing people to get close. And now I'll hand it over to uh, CJ to go into more detail about the first concept. Great. So if I can ask everybody to look to the person to your left, and the person to your right. <laughs> uh, what you'll find from our previous Nahabandi reading, we are not all identical. We all come from different cultures, we have our own set of values, and with that, that helps us bring our own unique ideas and beliefs to the table. And because of that, we are a diversified team. From the perspective of a leader, once you are willing to accept a person for who they are and where they come from, it allows the employee to develop, a, to develop a deeper level of commitment to the goal at hand. I'm gonna pass it off to you. Russ? Thank you. Concept number two is uh, to forgive human frailties. As Dean Smith practiced, um, rather than jumping to conclusions, he always gave individuals the benefit of the doubt. He never jumped to the conclusions. So he showed, showed us that we need to um, understand life and experiences from other people's perspectives as well as our own. So now we're going to act out a, a brief workplace skit that shows this example. So in this skit, Patrick and Peter are both employees, myself, and I am a first line manager, and CJ is a senior manager. Hey Patrick, buddy, are you these ports done by 11.30? Can you do that for me? Peter, I'm stressed, man. I got my own work to do. I can't do your work too. I'm going to focus on my stuff. Russ, Patrick, I'm jerk lately. I think we should just cut him right now. I don't know. We can't cut him. But we have to. No, we can't. No, absolutely not. But let me look into it. We, we, we need to find out what's going on. There's got to be more to it than that. Okay. <laughs> hey, Nish, buddy. Can you see what's going on here? Do you know what that, uh, any problem the Patrick have? What, what, would, what would you do here? Uh, I talk to him and say what's going on and how could you help him. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and he, should we cut him? Should we get rid of him? Uh, I mean, he's obviously got a horrible attitude. He, he does, but he can help him out with it. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see what we can do. Thanks, Misha. Yeah, no Thanks for seeing you on short sure. notes. I, I know you're really busy. You've got a lot of your place. Sure, no problem. We'll We've got some, some problems here with uh, Patrick. He's normally really easy to go and hard working. But I think he has a lot of complaints about him lately. Okay. Uh, and this is Patrick Simon. Is that right? Exactly. All right. Patrick's been with us how long? About five about, years now? Yeah, about five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, you think perhaps, I, you know, I know he's been working with us better, although over the last five years, I know he's done a great job with the merger he had last year. And, yep. You know, maybe, do you know, do you think it's anything maybe personal going on? Not that I've heard about, but we definitely need to look into that. Okay. And what project is he working on today? He's got that new proposal that he's putting together, but. 
but uh, he's got a very strong background in sales. Okay, you know what, actually that's great. Bob contacted me this morning regarding some potential candidates that he was inquiring to hire some people for the new sales project we're going to do. So perhaps that might be right down the alley. Fantastic. Yeah, I hadn't heard about that. Let me pass it on to him and see what he has to say. Yeah, let me know how it turns out. Thank you. Thanks. Patrick, man. Russ! I can't do Peter's work too, man. I got my own problems. My mother-in-law just moved in, my dog's sick, the kids are sick, my truck just broke down, and my girlfriend just ran off with the milkman. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. You definitely have a lot going on in your personal life. I can what's going on here, don't you? Yeah. So, I tell you what, um, why don't you take a couple days break, and we'll, we'll get you off this, this proposal project. And CJ came up with a wonderful idea. I, I, was, I wasn't aware of it. They've got an opening but we're in sales. And, and with your background in sales, that might be a good opportunity for you. Uh, just so Are you interested? Yeah, sure. All right, way to go. Let's go with that then. So similar to what we discussed in our, our lecture on Monday, um, due, due to the absence of information, um, people will always assume the worst case scenario. So, so now I'm going to transition over to Patrick, and we'll talk about the next key concept. The next key concept in the principle of friendship is forever is the desired success of each individual. King Rice, he was a, an exceptional starting point guard for North Carolina. He won many games with Dean Smith, and he went on to have a fantastic professional career. However, there was a point in his career at North Carolina where he struggled. He was having a bad week and he got in an altercation at school, was arrested and placed in jail overnight. King was embarrassed and ashamed. At that time, there was no proof that King was uh, culpable for the altercation, so Dean Smith decided to start him the next game against Maryland. That game, King played horribly. He was awful, North Carolina lost the game. In a very rare occurrence, the loyal fans of North Carolina actually booed Dean Smith for playing him. After the game, a frustrated player came to Dean Smith, was venting about the loss and why he started King. And as always, Dean Smith defended the individual first. He said, you don't know what King has gone through this week. You don't know what's going through his mind, and you don't know the frustrations that he's dealing with. King's self-esteem right now at this point is more important to me than winning a game. Peter? So now that we've kind of gotten a better sense of the, the desired success of the individual, can any of you tell, tell me where exactly in our skit Russ was looking out for the, the, the good of Patrick in the situation, even over the cost of the team? Anybody? Yeah. You, you had a question and said to cut him, and then he said, no, it's good and better for that. Looking out for him, right? Going to, uh, to, to talk to him. About um, I mean, at the end, you guys also decided to give him a few days off, took him off like a project. So that's now a hold. The rest of the team probably has to fill while he's gone and transfers to a different job. All right. Yeah. Now, how do you think this really affects how this affects Patrick? Well, he probably feels better because he's going to have time to figure out what's going on in his life, and he has a new opportunity to pursue. So what if we allowed each other? Get closer. What if? So what if employers allowed employees to get closer to them? What would happen? There'd be more understanding. What else? Do we do we be more motivated to work for the employer? Understand each other more. Or else? They believe in one another. Thank you. 
It didn't cut off, did it? No. no. Okay.